Okay, let's check how we can hook up uh, these preamps to an interface like this one. But the question is, do you really need external preamps for your recordings? Or is working with the preamps on your audio interface good enough? Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we jump in, you can check out my free workshop on how to build the perfect mix template so we can speed up your mixing workflow. The link is down below. Okay, now in this video, what I'm gonna talk to you about is how you can connect preamps like these to an audio interface like this one which is an entry-level interface. This one is the Audient uh, ID14 MK2 that I actually reviewed not too long ago. And then I'm gonna show you my thoughts on if it's really a need to work and record with external preamps. But first, let's look at what we have here. Now, on my side, I have my Vintec 473. Those are four preamps. So first, what you need to do uh, if you wanna connect an external preamp to an interface is to look at the back of the preamp and look for the output that you have. Like on the back of the preamp, you will have a, um, a microphone input and also an output. That can be an XLR output or a quarter inch output. I have both on my side with this unit. I have an XLR balanced output and also an unbalanced quarter inch output. On the audio interface side, when we're recording, we are dealing with three different types of input levels. We have the microphone level input, which is the level that comes out of a microphone before it gets amplified. And this runs between minus 60 dBU to minus 40 dBU. We also have instrument level input. Um, that is the level of an instrument, like an electric guitar, an electric bass, and that will run at around a minus 20 dBU. And lastly, we have the line level input, which runs at plus four dBU. And this comes from a signal processing gear or pro gear like preamps, for example. So that's why on uh, an interface like this one, uh, we have a, an instrument input, okay, which is gonna manage the, uh, the instrument level input for electric guitars, bass guitars, and so on. And we also have at the back of this one, which is probably the same for a lot of those interfaces, we have combo inputs, which are like these, you know, where you can connect an XLR cable and also a TRS cable or a quarter inch cable. So those are combo inputs. You can find them on a bunch of different interfaces like the Evo 8 that I have right here. I also have them on my AXR4 right at the back here and also on the URRT4, which also has combo inputs, okay? So the cool thing about combo jacks is that if not specified, they will detect what kind of cable is actually connected to the jacks and they will adapt the input level according to what is plugged in, you know? So if you plug in a, uh, an XLR cable, it's gonna go into a mic level input. And if you connect a quarter inch TRS cable, it's gonna switch to a line input. So what I do on my side to connect external preamps like these, I use a female XLR to TRS, okay? A cable to just, you know, connect that to the back and straight in the combo input that I have here. And this way the interface will detect that I'm using a TRS cable and will switch that input to a line level input. And very important to do is to bring the level of the preamp to zero. The preamp is gonna be managed by, you know, the level of the external preamp and not the one on the interface. But again, you need to make sure that the input you're gonna to use to connect your external preamp is supporting line level, okay? Uh, because some don't. Let me show you. For example, I have my URRT4, and it's, uh, you can see it right uh, on top. You know, the first two preamps will not support line level. They will support IZ, which is basically an instrument level input and also an XLR input. Now, input three and four will support line level, okay? So this is where I would, in this case, uh, using the URRT4, this is where I would connect my external preamp, straight on input uh, three and four. Or at the back, I also have input five and six that are also line level inputs, okay? So those also are good to connect an external preamp. So just make sure uh, that uh, your the input you're using to connect the, uh, the gear supports line level, or else the signal coming into your interface is gonna be way too loud. Because on paper, I could just use this, you know, this XLR cable connected to the XLR output straight on an XLR input on the interface. 
but my signal is going to be way too loud and I'm going to have to bring the level of the preamp very low. Okay. And this is kind of defining the purpose because, you know, you're using an external preamp probably because you love the tone and sound of that preamp. So if you keep that preamp very low, you're not going to get the full tone that the preamp can give you. So again, one option is to use a Nexelar female to male TRS cable, which looks like this. And this is a balanced cable. Okay. So the difference between a balance and an unbalanced cable, if you look at those two quarter inch connectors, the balanced cable has two rings on the connector, on the quarter inch connector, opposed to the unbalanced cable. So that's why we call this version of a quarter inch cable a TRS cable, which stands for tip ring and sleeve. And on a lot of preamps, you also have the option on using a quarter inch output. So avoid using unbalanced cables to connect external preamps to an audio interface, unless otherwise specified, like it is in my case with the Vintec 473. I love sparking water. Like bubbly is like the best. That is the best around, I'm telling you. Not sponsored. So now the big question, do you need to work and record with external preamps? The answer is simple. It depends, you know? There's nothing wrong with the preamps found on an interface like this one, okay? Uh, you can record high quality music uh, using only the preamps out of this interface, in my opinion anyways. So it has nothing to do with the quality of the music in a way. Uh, first, you know, if you need more than four preamps, like this one has four preamps, my AXR4 has four preamps. In my case, most of the time, four preamps is gonna be enough. I'm a drummer, I have an acoustic drum that I record once in a while. So for me, working with external preamps is a kind of a must. So the amount of input and preamps you need for your recording sessions is gonna determine if you need to, to invest into external preamps or not to start with. Then there's a matter of tone and character that you wanna to add to the signal you're recording. Like these preamps, you know, the preamps found on any of these interfaces uh, will sound clean, neutral, you know, without any character and color. So this is what you'll get, which is okay. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do in post during the mixing stage to add a bit more character to a clean signal. Uh, but this is what you're gonna get. Some will reach for external preamps for the tone, for the color, the character that it's gonna give you. And that can be a big advantage. So if you look at the console that uh, I have here in the back, I only use that console for the preamps to record my drums on top of uh, you know, the four preamps that I have on my Vintec. And the cool thing about working with these preamps is that you have the input, the gain level, and you also have an output level that you can play with, which is gonna allow me to add some saturation out of the preamp itself during recording, which is actually very cool. So by just bringing down the output level, I can crank up the input, get a bit of you know tone and character and a bit of saturation uh, to the signal I'm recording and balance that out with the output level. So this is one advantage that I have when working with a vintage type external preamp like my Vintec 473. On the other hand, you also have interfaces like the uh, URRT4 that has a transformer that you can activate that will add this type of character to your signal. And also on my main interface, the XR4, the four preamps um, that I have on this interface has the silk uh, option, which is gonna add some character character and saturation to the sound. So it's giving me a similar tone than what an external preamp is gonna give me. And there's also interfaces like UAD that will give you access to super low latency recording using preamp emulation plugins, which is also very nice. As far as getting a preamp for tone, my advice is simple. I have a list of priorities when it comes to recording gear, you know, or mixing gear. Um, you know, you need to go, you need to go by priority. So do you really need an external preamp for recording? That is a personal choice at this point. It depends on your situation. If like me, you need more inputs and preamps than available on your sound interface, you have your answer. If you're looking for tone only, that is a very good option if you want to improve the tone of the sound you're recording, you know? So that can be a very good option. And that can also affect the way the microphone is going to sound like when working with a high quality microphone preamp. It can make your microphone sound different in a good way. 
But for Tone, there's always the option of plugins. There's a bunch of preamp emulation plugins that you can work with uh, that will add that kind of character uh, to a very clean sound that you recorded with your sound interface. I'm actually gonna make a video in the near future talking about some of these plugins that are actually very cool. Now, if you're new to music production and recording, I would say that a microphone preamp is not the first on the list of priorities. Okay, I'm gonna say, make sure you have like a good interface to work with, a good computer, and invest in your skills to start with. And then go down the priority list of equipment you can invest in that will improve your sound. But before then, I would not suggest you to invest into a microphone preamp. But if you have more experience producing and recording, and you already have a good interface, a good microphone, phones and you want to improve your sound somehow yeah maybe a good high quality external mic preamp will do the trick so those are my thoughts on working with external preamps i hope you enjoyed the video if so share and like and if you're new here on the channel feel free to subscribe to the channel and to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything if you have any questions or comments you can leave everything down below until next time take care and see you